All right, uh, the Indian fighter uh, is also preparing to get in. The Indian fighter is from uh, Alan Fernandez's gym. I know his coach. He's, a, he's been around for a very long time. Has some really good, decent fighters come. So let's see how this will play out. Again, we're going to move up the divisions. Uh, we're going to move from the 56.7 kg to the 61.2 k kg, which is a bantamweight. Moving from the flyweight to the bantamweights, slightly uh, bigger bodies inside the cage here. Again, we're going to have a Kazakh fighter against an Indian fighter, as I spoke before. The Kazakhs usually come with a uh, physicality. Uh, they're very physical, they're very strong, they have a very good background uh, in grappling arts and they're known for also boxing and uh, good wrestlers. Uh, Indian guy, I know, as I said, I know his coach, so I'm assuming he's going to be a good stand-up fighter. Um, I don't know much about his groundwork, uh, so let's see how this plays out. Usually in India also they have a good background of wrestlers. so. It's going to be interesting. Again, we're at the Bahrain IMMAF World Championships, day one. This is uh, bout number three in cage number three. The, the winner now is the Round one, one is about to start. And the fight is on. The Kazakh is wearing golden, so he's probably been a champion in one of the IMMAF uh, uh, oh, he throws a right, strong right hook over, overhand. Uh, whichever fighter you see in this event is wearing uh, golden. He's got, he was a champion before in one of the events. Um, he moves really nicely, the Kazakh guy, but the, the Indian guy is really pressuring him. Oh, nice double leg takedown from the Kazakh. So as I was saying, if, he's, if you see a fighter that's wearing golden, that means he was a champion in one of the IMMAF uh, events, whether it was a world championship or the Asian or the European. So this is uh, how you can see the champions. He had a very nice double leg takedown on the Indian guy. The Indian fighter is trying to get out, but uh, I'm sure the Kazakh has a really good uh, control over the position. Um, again, he needs to hipscape a little bit the Indian guy from the bottom, hipscape to try to regain his guard, to try to stand up. The Kazakh's trying to mount, I think he's trying to slice his knee over. A nice knee to the body. You can do this in amateur, it's allowed. A uh, knee to the body. You cannot knee the head or the elbows, use the elbows, but you can knee the body. It's, he's throwing these punches, you know, scoring points. Again, Rahar, nice knee to the body. He's got to he's got to hurt his opponent definitely if he keeps doing that. Right, strong knees to the ribs. These are really strong knees to the ribs with a lot of leverage behind it. Uh, slices the knee and he's trying to move to the mount. Has a good under 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 arm control and moves to the mount. Um, I don't. I don't see how the Indian guy is going to get out of here. It's going to be a really tough, tough position to, for him to get out. The Kazakh seems has a really sound game on the ground game. Throwing, throwing punches, trying to slam to to let his opponent let go to create some distance. Throwing multiple punches from the mount. It's a really dominant position. Kazakh fighter is, uh, seems to be really strong. Throwing some hammer punches now. These punches are hard. They're not landing very clean though. 10 second clapper, the Indian must, might, might survive this round. These punches are really outside of the head, which is really affects the opponent. Round one is done. 
good control of the, the Kazakh fighter. Has amazing control. Started with a nice stand up and double leg takedown and controlled the fight totally. Uh, and I expect that from a champion of one of the IMMAF events. And uh, he's showing that he's coming here to win. I assume Alan Fernandez, the Indian coach, is telling his coach to keep the fight standing up. Watch the double leg takedown. Don't uh, get lured into the Kazakhs game and take him down. So keep, he's telling him to keep the fight stand up. I'm sure uh, that's what he's telling him right now. And the Kazakh, the game plan was perfect for him, worked perfectly. So let's see how round two will turn out. Round two is on the way. Nice low kick by the Indians. Started with a nice low kick. He tried to throw one again. Oh, nice. Nice overhand and a double leg takedown again. Nice overhand by the Kazakh and then connected to the double leg. He's mixing it up really well. The Kazakh fighter seems really experienced. Uh, some of these fighters are, they look really seasoned. They have a lot of fights. Again, he moves to the mount very easily, much easier this time than the first round. And he has the whole round to work from the mount. Uh, he's throwing punches to the body, to the head. He's mixing it up really well. The, in, the Indian fighter is, uh, has that difficulty moving, uh, defending, defending the ground, defending the groundwork of the Kazakh. He's uh, just uh, trying to hug his opponent to uh, avoid the hard punches. Now, like that, you know, like now the distance is there. The Kazakh is throwing hard punches. Because he's right now really taking his time, create, creating distance, pushing off the face of his opponent with one hand and trying to land the punch with the other. The, the, the guy is uh, hugging his opponent, trying to keep the distance tight so he just avoids the hard punches. Uh, it's one thing to defend it, but he needs to get out of this position. Uh, he, it's not a good position to be in, you know, as, as the punches just keep landing like this and uh, you might get hurt or the referee stops the fight. Uh, interestingly, the Kazakh fighter is trying to trap one hand with his shin over like this. Now he's defending really well. Uh, these punch and wow, he moved to a beautiful arm bar. Beautiful submission from the mount. Set it up with some punches and wow, that was beautiful. The first finish of the day we have in this cage from the Kazakh fighter. Was a, he's a champion. He did really well. Man. That was a beautiful setup. Excellent armbar. And uh, expected from a champion. So bout number three. About number three, the Kazakh Olzaz Maldir Galiev from Kazakhstan uh, won in round number two by an arm bar finish against Akash Guatam from India. Congratulations to Kazakhstan for their first win of the com championship and advancing to the Our next winner. round. Oljas Moldegalier from Kazakhstan. Official announcement. These guys come from Kazakhstan. They're really good, tough fighters with a lot of experience. So bout number four is going to be, again, in the bantamweight division. We're going to have a fighter from United Kingdom against United States. 
Kiran Dip Hasahuta from United Kingdom against Chase Botwell from the United States. It's going to be an interesting fight. Both countries have amazing fighters and uh, really high level MMA. So uh, we're expecting this bout to be a, a great one. Uh, again, it's our fourth bout of the day and the first day of the World Championships, uh, IMMAF World Championships Bahrain. Uh, and this is the fourth bout in the bantamweight division, 61.2 kg, 135 pounds. They're gonna be a total of 26 fights on cage number three. I'm assuming these are the numbers for each cage. Uh, there are a lot of fights today. Um, <clears throat> so on cage number three, we're gonna have 26 fights. This is only the third fight was finished. We're gonna go into fight number four shortly. Uh, Britain against United States. some uh, action from the last bout the Kazakh fighter was really experienced uh, he's gonna be a tough guy to beat in this division Just for <clears throat> some information for our viewers,